Lise, here's a look at Zender Snowfest from earlier. That's on the left. And a live look right now as the finer details on the snow sculptures start to appear. Competitors are getting closer to the deadline for their ice cold creations. People of all ages take part, including local high school students. TV5's Lenita Brooks spoke to some about their new experiences at Snowfest. Lenita. We're having a blast at the 2024 Snow Fest. Like you all just said, I have been with the high schoolers all day, and you can see they are still going hard at work. I'm told that this is going to be a flower with a honeybee, and these guys take it seriously. They are not just out here playing in the snow, but they say it's also a bonding experience. I thought if it would be like really fun to like create um, something like with a group so that would be like something that we could share, like we created this and I just thought that would be really cool. Besides being able to stay at the Barbarian and definitely hanging out with people that I otherwise never really talk to, I don't really get to see these people that often, and this has grown us like really close. And overall, it's just pretty fun working with a new material that I haven't really worked with. I've always done art, but this is a whole entire new experience. Again. And there are a total of 21 schools participating in the competition this year, and we're wishing them all the best of luck, of course. Snowfest Day 3 resumes tomorrow. For now, we're live from Snowfest 2024. Lanita Brooks, WNEM TV5. All right, stay warm and keep having fun out there, mm -hmm. Lanita.